Content should be at the forefront of your online fitness business because without creating any content, no one really knows who you are, what you do and what you have to offer you're basically invisible. Content forms a key element to your organic marketing strategy, and if done correctly and consistently, it will get you online clients for sure. But creating content sometimes isn't that easy. What do you write or talk about every day? What platforms do you post on and how do you post consistently every day without feeling like you're posting the same thing or being boring? I hear you, it's an integral part to your online fitness business and it requires some creativity and also putting yourself out there. It's honestly why a lot of online coaches leave the space because it becomes less about being a coach and more about being an online marketer. But it doesn't have to be that way. In this video, I'm going to dive into some content creation hacks that are going to help you post content and create content consistently for your online fitness business. Let's dive straight in. First things first, if you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button and subscribe to not miss any future videos. Also, if you're looking for more help on how to start or grow your online fitness business, then be sure to check out the link below in the description and see how we can help you. I think a lot of online coaches struggle when it comes to content creation because they're trying to create an original masterpiece when really they don't have to. I guarantee for every original post that you put out, there's probably thousands out there like it and this is really my point here you want to use what content is already out there for inspiration for your content for your online fitness business spend some time researching similar businesses to you or even businesses outside of your niche and look at what content they're creating and take inspiration from it slight caveat though don't copy and paste it be sure to make it your own put your own spin on it so it makes sense for your audience and your network so spend some time researching and something that works well for me is creating a folder of content ideas so any content that I see I'll screenshot it and I'll put it in a folder and come back to it at a later date when I need some inspiration creativity isn't always there so this folder might help you spark some ideas or come up with some inspiration for creating more posts and posting more consistently this next content hack is a complete no-brainer when it comes to your content creation and that is repurpose all of your content now there's a few different ways you can do this but the first way I want to talk you about is taking a piece of content and turn it into different types so what do I mean by that so let's say you've created a Facebook post so you're gonna post it on your feed you've written the copy and you've taken a photo for it you could then take that post and turn it into a story you could turn it into a reel and you could also do a Facebook live on it. So now you've taken one piece of content and you've turned it into four types. Next, depending on how many platforms you're using in your online fitness business, and slight spoiler alert, this is the next content hack that I want to talk to you about. Again, you should take that content that you've created on Facebook and you should be posting it on Instagram as well. So now that four pieces of content, that Facebook feed post, that reel, that story, and that live, you could also post Post that on Instagram so you could post that as an Instagram story an Instagram feed post an Instagram reel and also a IGTV video so now you've taken that one piece of content and turned it into eight different posts my final tip when it comes to repurposing content is reposting let's say you created a masterpiece and it absolutely blew up on one of the social media platforms you got lots of likes and engagement what you can do is repost that post maybe three to four weeks later because social media moves so fast and I guarantee within four weeks that post will probably be buried so why not take that post that you know will do well and resurface it bring it to the top of the algorithm and let people engage with it again and yes people may see it again but there's so many posts going out on social media uh, it's probably not likely that people will see that you've reposted it it's very easy for me to sit here and say choose one platform for your online fitness business so choose Facebook go all in and put all of your focus there but it really comes down to where you're at in your online fitness business if you're just getting started in your online fitness business journey that might be a good idea to focus on one platform really build that audience and not spread yourself too thin but if you've been doing this for a while and you've been having some success with your online fitness business then it makes sense to diversify and have a multi-channel organic marketing strategy after all if you're creating the content you you may as well repurpose it across multiple platforms to really grow your reach and audience. A great way to get consistent with creating
creating and posting content is batch producing it. Because when coming to create content, if you feel like you're in that zone and you've got great energy, you should really lean into that and really create as much content as possible. And also doing it this way can really help you with your schedule because being an online coach requires so much from you. You're the coach, the salesperson, the marketer, the customer service assistant and so much more. So next time you start creating some content and you feel like you're in the zone, try batch producing it and setting yourself up for the week where you've scheduled all of your content and created it all ahead of time. Batch producing can also help you with your schedule in terms of taking some time off. So if you wanna be consistent with your content but you wanna take a day off on a Friday or a Monday, if you're ahead of schedule, this way will really help you. Using templates can be a great way to help you create and post content consistently. Maybe you're not that creative when it comes to designing photos or creating videos, or maybe you struggle with copywriting. But be careful not to rely on templates too much because it will squash your creativity and your content will just stagnate and come across as a little bit boring. But let's look at some examples where we could use templates. So let's say you want to create a post for Facebook and you're looking to create a graphic. So I would highly recommend using canva.com. Canva is a online graphics tool with thousands of thousands of templates for you to use where you can just load in your photos and tweak the graphics to your brand colors. Templates like this can really save you a lot of time and money and also creative bandwidth. We use them all the time to create ads for our online business. Now, if it's copywriting that you struggle with, then there is plenty of frameworks out there and templates for you to use. For example, you could just Google any copywriting frameworks and one that would come up quite regularly is the PAS framework. And this is just one of quite a lot of different copywriting frameworks. And like I said, if you Google them, you'll be able to read through and it'll give you more of a detailed overview of how to use them to create more well-rounded and structured posts. You don't have to be an expert at everything in your online fitness business. And I highly recommend playing to your strengths. Now you're an online coach, but sometimes you've got to learn the new skills of being an online marketer. And this is where content creation can be a little bit difficult. So this is where my next hack comes in, and this is really outsourcing. Now, if you hadn't heard of Fiverr or Upwork, these are two amazing outsourcing platforms where you can pretty much get anything done. Well, to a certain extent. So if you're struggling to create a reel or create a video or write a piece of content or create a graphic or create a PDF or a website, the list goes on, then you can outsource it on Fiverr or Upwork for not a lot of money. Yes, it's going to cost you to outsource, but what you've got to look at is the upside. Will it save you time? Are you going to get a better piece of work created? And is it going to help you move your online fitness business forward? Because sometimes we get stuck and we don't post anything. So outsourcing, if that's gonna help you move forward, then it's a no brainer. We regularly outsource to other professionals to really help us move the business forward faster and really get a higher standard of work. So there you have it, some content hacks to help you be more consistent with creating and posting content for your online fitness business. Another great way to grow your online fitness business and really double your reach is using a Facebook group. So if you want to learn more about how to start and scale a Facebook group to 50K members and beyond, the next thing you want to do is check out the video I've got linked up here on how to grow a Facebook group. Be sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.